If you thought that voting for Donald Trump in this year's election was going to bring the price of groceries down first, I understand prices are high, times are tough, and also it's probably not gonna happen. It's not looking like that because Walmart's CFO, John David Rainey, is now saying that thanks to the Trump tariffs that are gonna be going into effect, maybe in a couple of months, they might have to, in fact, raise prices. Here is what he said on CNBC. When it comes to the ongoing tariff discussion, the company is closely monitoring the developments. And Big said, look, as we have said before, our goal is to be the low price leader. We want to manage margins with customers and shareholders in mind. We have mitigation strategies that have been in place for months, but increased tariffs will increase prices for our customers. Okay, and so that is just how tariffs work, you know? And I know a lot of people, it's a lot of MAGA people who are like, learning this now. They're like Googling like, wait, who pays tariffs? I, I wish a lot of people had Googled that a couple months ago. But that is what is going to happen. That's how tariffs work. We tried to warn people for literally months because we know they're suffering and we don't want them to suffer more. But that is what's going to happen. Now, look, I will throw out, I am always, I always have my radar going for any company like Walmart or whatever to use whatever excuse they can to raise prices, okay? But here is the thing. The Walmart CFO there is both at least on some level right. They will have to raise prices because they'll be paying more for these things. And then also probably being dishonest in that they're going to raise prices more than they have to. That's what they do literally every time. But Trump is giving them that excuse. That's what he's doing. In the same way that they use the supply chain issues as an excuse to price gouge, they will use the tariff thing to price gouge as well. So you're going to get hit coming and going. The prices will necessarily have to go up and they will also raise them more than they need to. And so if people just wanted like cheaper eggs or cheaper milk or whatever, you know, God help you, it's not looking like that's gonna happen, Sharon. Yeah, so let me get this straight. He's going to make good on this tariff nonsense, which we, as you eloquently pointed out, will face retaliation and he's gonna deport a million people. Prepare to pay more and grow your own vegetables and everything else. Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, if, if you can, I mean, I personally think if you have the capacity, yeah. uh, do it. Yeah. It's a fun hobby as well. Um, but yeah, super worried about it. Um, let's see. We have other companies too. Lowe's said about forty percent of the company's cost of goods sold comes from outside of the U.S., including direct imports and merchandise from natural Brit national brands. He said tariffs certainly would add product costs, but added timing and details remain uncertain at this point. And that is true. We don't know what the tariffs are going to be. He is Trump has previously said ten to twenty percent on all imports, everything. So just think about 10 to 20% more you'll have to pay for most things that you buy. Uh, he said on goods from China, tariffs could be 60 to 100%. And that sounds bad, but I'm not super worried. I don't think we really buy much from China. So I don't think that's gonna have much of an effect on us. I shouldn't be sarcastic since I'm trying to get through to people. But anyway, yeah, no, that's really bad, man. That's really, really bad. Uh, ELF Beauty CEO, it's one of the companies that makes like the makeup and products like that, uh, beauty products, said uh, that the company could be forced to raise prices if the higher duties take effect. Footwear maker Steve Madden said it will reduce the goods it imports from China by as much as 45% over the next year to try to avoid the financial impact. So that's good. You might not pay more for some things. You'll just have less choice, I guess, because we're walling ourselves off from the rest of the world. And uh, Goldman Sachs believes that inflation could surge to three to three percent if Trump applies his universal tariffs. So again, he got into office saying we're going to get uh, inflation down. Inflation is down right now, but might double once he's done applying his tariffs. Sharon, you hate to see it. I don't know what people thought or why, as you mentioned, they're googling now because it is too late, and it seems that this whole thing where and God, they've got to stop doing this. These people who are aligned with Trump and his incoming administration and his past keep telling us, well, don't believe just because he said it doesn't mean he's going to do all these things. It looks like he's lining up the people in the places to do all these things. He's doing all of these things. And several of his rich buddies are going to get richer off of it, which it was always the plan anyway. It, yeah. Stop. Just stop. I, I, I do wonder. Like a lot of my mental math is, are they going to see it when it happens? Like obviously, Fox, Sean Hannity is never going to be like, you know, I, I broadcast to you today 
with unfortunate news. Trump's promises didn't come true and prices are not, it's literally never gonna happen. So they're either just not gonna talk about it and hope that people won't notice that the price of goods have gone up. That doesn't seem like a good strategy or they will find some sort of scapegoat. I, I don't know, like I, I guess like, trans teenagers, I suppose, are causing eggs to go up. At, I don't know, I don't know. They're creative people over there. Maybe they can get it done, but we'll be watching over the next couple of years. Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.